Morning guys, what's up? Another day at Universal, I've got a late start, so we're stopping for lunch at Cowfish. Wow, the food's just come at Cowfish, and look at Becca's, it looks amazing. It's like a, a cheeseburger but in like a sushi roll wrapped with rice and fries and mine just looks amazing. Got some, I think, are they green beans I think? Got some burger, some ginger, some sweet potato fries, wasabi and I got the four piece sushi roll which looks absolutely amazing. Cowfish was good, wasn't very pricey, it came at $50 with tip. Becca's was much nicer than mine. Mine seemed to be a lot of flavours on the plate at once. We've put off going to Cowfish for ages because of the service, from what we've heard of it, but it was good. It wasn't awesome, but it was good. But now we're going to head into the studios. Um, it rained for a little bit, but it's passed. Seems alright now. So fingers crossed it stays off for the rest of the day. Hey. It's amazing when you come to Universal during the day and how they don't have the horror nights lighting and they have much happier music to set the tone because on the night time it's a totally different thing but I've got that house to do tonight, that house to do and one more of the original houses, hopefully I can get them all done Ah, isn't it nice when the studios isn't busy This is why we love coming at this time of the year Obviously apart from horror nights the parks are dead during the day. So we're heading in to do the Animal Actor Show, something we've never done before at Universal. Becca's been dying to do it, um, but it's never like a show time when we get here. So we'll just queue up, and hopefully we'll enjoy it. This is Come here. On this mark. Stay. 
So I don't know why we haven't been to see that before. It's an awesome show, really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was quite funny as well. Did you enjoy it, Becca? Yeah, I loved it. So we're heading up to ET now. Always gotta have a ride at ET when you come to Universal. And then we'll see what else we can do. It looks like we've missed the rain whilst we've been in the show as well. And then we'll probably stop and have a drink and just watch the world go by. Look at that, five minute wait. And the rain's starting again. Another solid ride on ET, and with it being the 35th anniversary, we've bought an ET plush to take home with her, which we've always had our eye on, but never buy it for some reason. But now we've got it. So since it's fall, you've got to stop at the Duff Brewery and get a Duff Tober Fest, and I can see it just at the back over there. So as soon as I buy me Duff beer and come to sit in my favourite place, it starts to rain. So now we've got to find somewhere indoors to sit. So we took refuge in Moore's Tavern, but it's still raining, so we've come to look inside of the Quickie Mart. I love all the merch in here. That's awesome, isn't it? I wonder how much that is. Oops. $24. Oh, look, I'll take another cozy for your beer as well, like a squishy one. How awesome are these? Squishy cups, like from the actual Quickie Mart. And these are awesome as well. Absolutely lashing down. So we're riding men in black, it's only a 15 minute wait. I've got to perfect my score, I've got to get the best score I can before I leave. So on men in black, my contact lens went up inside the top of my eyelid and I started to panic and I couldn't see. But I still managed a 200, 206,000 score. Beck, I got an impressive 155,000, which was awesome. The rain stopped. I think we're going to go ride Simpsons if the wait times died down. And then head back towards the front of the park. We're in Diagon Alley. I love it here, it's just too busy. But if we get the early park hours in the next couple of days, we can pop back. Oh, we're going into Florian Fortescue's for some ice cream. Really don't know what I'm gonna try. The menu looks awesome. I think I'm gonna go for the butter beer. I'm finally trying butter beer ice cream. Becca has got just a chocolate flavour with some hundreds and thousands.
Huh? Huh? So we're inside of one of the gift shops, Wiseacres I think, and you can actually buy a quill for $12. That's pretty cool and also you can buy the ink pot which is like really really heavy. That's awesome. Wow, I have never noticed this before, the Museum of Muggle Curiosities. I just noticed it because I've seen this microwave in the window. So they've got a microwave, a fax machine, a radio, a set of scales, a lamp, a vacuum cleaner, a very old TV, a fan. This is awesome. Why have I never seen this before? So we're going to head into the Gringotts Money Exchange, get some money. Some sickles and nuts and galleons. Something we've never done whilst at Universal. You, sir. Hmm. Do any of you have valuables you wish to protect? Heavens have opened, so we're going to take a look at Nocturne Alley. Now the camera does a much better job of picking this up than our eyes can actually see, because it's pitch black right now, but the camera does an amazing job of making it look bright. finally stopped heading out but I absolutely love the detail in this place like the, the clothes hanging up on the leaky cauldron to the bricks wayfaring wizards welcome you're watching Matt Florida guy we hope you enjoyed this video Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more daily vlogs, Florida planning and guide videos, plus vlogs from the theme parks. Follow That Florida Guy and That Florida Girl on Twitter and Instagram, and check out our t-shirt designs on Spreadshirt. And remember guys, stay tuned.